Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team. And today I'm gonna to take you through how Netscope is helping our customers unlock the potential of AI. And I'm gonna to focus today on a live demo of an AI powered groundbreaking technology that solves a big challenge in data protection. Now, before I get to the demo, a little bit of table setting here because I wanna introduce you to Scope AI. Now, Scope AI is our umbrella term for all of the ways that we're using AI throughout the Netscope platform. And we've done this for years, from threat protection, looking for the unknown threats, to device access intelligence, to optimizing SD-WAN. There's many different areas where we've applied AI, and we're an innovator in this area. But what I want to focus in on today is data protection. And this is an area where Netscope also has innovated for many years. And one of the key capabilities here is AI ML powered image classification. This is a big problem and challenge in the industry is all of the false positives you have traditionally with DLP. Well, what AI ML does for classification, it allows you to basically identify various images and objects with very high efficacy, very high precision, and you don't have to manually create regular expressions and pattern matching. In fact, you can combine the two. But the idea here is out-of-the-box classifiers, such as scans of passport books, social security numbers, photo IDs, employees taking screenshots of Microsoft Teams and Zoom meetings and uploading that data uh, to the cloud. Um, or legal documents, uh, IRS forms, uh, offer letters, you, the list goes on and on. This is the new way to do data protection that is much more effective. But one of the big challenges with even this approach solely is that you're reliant upon kind of known data that's out there in the wild, right? Um, which is very effective if you're looking for that known data. But what if the data is your own? What if it's unique to you? That's where a classifier doesn't really work unless it's your own specially trained classifier. This is where I'm very excited to introduce you to Netscope's uh, train your own classifier. And what this is all about is this is a basically a way to put the power of AI ML into customers' hands so what they can effectively do is take their own unique corpus of data, use that to train an ML classifier, and they can now use that classifier in the Netscope tenant to look for data everywhere it goes, from cloud all the way to endpoint and everywhere in between. Now, this is truly groundbreaking technology, but let me give you a live demo look at, at how this works and uh, let's see it in action here. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is this example image. And uh, this is an employee access card that's specific to this company. So how would you go identifying this with like a DLP system? Maybe you do regular expressions or pattern matching, you're looking for text inside of the image. Uh, you might have a, uh, a model that you know may, maybe looks for, for photos or what, but that is gonna generate a lot of false positives, right? Because it's not specific. Um, let's make this specific. And this is where I'm gonna show you the ability to train the system. Now, what if we took the corpus of data, all of the, uh, the, the employees' access cards, and we took them through the Netscope system? And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm taking all of these access cards and we've effectively trained the Netscope system. If I bring up the UI and show you what that looks like, here's the training system. We got a file classifiers option here. And here I have access cards. Now what you do is you feed it with both positive training data as well as negative training data. And so this is, this is very important because this helps the model detect not effectively what's in the image, but basically the image itself by doing a lot of advanced techniques. Um, 
And then you need the negative data to tell it that that's not what that image uh, should effectively be. So now that I have basically trained that image, um, what we can go ahead and do is if I go to, I have, have a policy in place that now looks for that data effectively going anywhere. If I take uh, that image that we had earlier and now try to take the image with me to Dropbox, my own personal, it detects it. That is a your own ML model, uh, your own ML classifier, if you will, and we're able to block it uh, from going uh, to this uh, cloud application. Now, that works great for looking at the image itself, but what if you want to also look at the sensitive data inside of the image, as well as the context of the fact that it's also an access card? So this is where Netscope also lets you basically combine the power of the ML-based cl classifier that you just created with advanced techniques like optical character recognition and exact data match. So let me give you an example of what we could do here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a new profile and uh, in Netscope. So I'm gonna take this DLP rule uh, that we just created. And this is, uh, let's go ahead and say, actually let's take the classifier that we just created. So we got access card, that's that ML based classifier. But what we're also gonna do is we're gonna combine that with a uh, exact data match containing a list of our California employees because those are the access cards that we wanna look for. So we're gonna basically, say, oh, and instead of or, let's make that an and operation. Let's some, put some, some uh, Boolean logic here. And so what I'm gonna basically say is if it is an access card and we detect that there's the name of California employees in that access card, only then are we gonna go ahead and match upon that. So now if I go back to my Dropbox and let's go ahead and, and drag that, that image here, of course it's gonna block it again, right? But what you're gonna see now here, if we look at the results of that in Netscope, if I go back to a Netscope console here and I go to incidents, and DLP, we go to our incident management system uh, where we can basically look at the details of that incident. Uh, what you're gonna see here now, if I scroll down to the bottom of this, well, first of all, we can see the violations that took place, the user, the application. Um, and then if I scroll down here, you could see that it, it triggered both rules because we had the and or operation, right? It's, it, it was having an employee name in there, but it was also an access card. And then if I look down, we also have forensics so we can see the person's name that actually triggered that violation, right? So at this point, uh, the employee, you know, that blocked it at Dropbox, they might try uh, other techniques. If I go to Dropbox, for example, um, I might actually open up this image or it could be a sensitive data. I might also take a screenshot of that data. So now I have an image of the image. <laughs> Right, and, and basically this is a big challenge. And by the way, this could be sensitive data anywhere, even a, a Zoom or Microsoft Teams meeting. And what if I take that, that data now and drag it all the way to USB storage? And this is where uh, Netscope basically blocked that data going all the way to USB storage, even though I took a screenshot using another ML model. So there you have it. Uh, groundbreaking technology. I showed an example use case with access cards, but really the use cases are whatever your imagination or your creativity desires, right? Think of architectural blueprints, uh, renderings of some type of sensitive data in your organization. Whatever images are sensitive to you and they're your own unique data, Netscope is going to enable you to take that, take that data, train a classifier using AIML, and protect that data everywhere it goes. Well, there you have it. I hope if you want to learn more about how Netscope is using the power of AI, visit us at netscope.com. Thank you very much.